Hey guys, Dave here. Hey, we're gonna go over this AVS4U software. Uh, the website AVS, the number four and the word U.com. Uh, once you download it, uh, you basically have the option to use up to 16 different suits of software, uh, from video to audio to image to some miscellaneous, uh, but quite a bit of stuff there. Um, if you were to purchase it, they have a deal in September for uh, either an unlimited, which you're going to get, you know, forever, uh, a $59 value, and or you could buy the one year for $39. So the unlimited is a pretty good deal. Uh, and looking at the software, we're going to take a look at the AVS video editor. Uh, getting into this, I actually already had it open. Let me open that again, but. Okay, getting into this, uh, we're going to go into a new project. So we're going to go to a file, new project. It gives us a lot of tips. You can choose not to use those tips, but usually they're pretty good quality tips. So it's a good idea to read them when you come across them. Um, going into what we can do here, we're going to start off with some imports. Let's go ahead and import... I'm just going to get some random videos. I don't even know what half of this is. But it doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to get something a little lengthy here. Alright, there's one thing. That is a three minute video that we're importing there. I'll import my intro. And we'll go ahead and throw in another video here. So I'm playing some football. Alright, so now that we have our several videos in here, we can simply drag and drop that right into that first line. It's going to ask if you want to set this. Uh, project uh, aspect ratio according to this very first video meaning if this first video you're putting in there has a really large resolution and you want everything to be set to that same default you would hit yes otherwise if you hit no um, it'll allow for the different ratio settings so I'm going to go with no just going to pop that first video in there at this point I'm going to go ahead and grab the second video drop it in there third just drop that in there nice long video there for some uh, examples but you see how quickly this is working here um, it's already imported them shows the wave lines and everything so I catch up here it actually tells you so getting into it we have a large number of transitions uh, over 600 complete transitions you have them broken up into either all to where you have basically all 600 here it's a little hard to see, or if you don't like to see them so large, you actually have this drag bar right here. Shrinks them down to where you can get more, four, five, now you get to words. Uh, so if you know them by words, you actually don't have to sit there and look at these rather large images. Uh, you can always just mouse over one. It's going to show the animation on the right hand side, as you can see there. Uh, but it has all these other ones. These are the same 600 plus but uh, it breaks them out into a couple different things so you can kind of see uh, what you might want to go for. So quite a bit. Video effects. There is, I believe, over 70 video effects. Uh, these video effects, usually you can uh, manipulate them. Uh, this one is snow. I played with that one for a little while just to see. Uh, it actually builds up snow at the bottom of the screen. You can adjust how many flakes there are, how fast they move, which direction they go in. Lots of options per all of these effects. So really uh, high detail if you want to go that route. And there's just a bunch. Uh, countdown blurs and motion blurs, inverts, gray styles, all kinds of stuff. Uh, let's see here we got text. These texts uh, allow you to add, as you can see on the right hand side there, Merry Christmas to it. Um, this The black and white um, checkerboard just shows where your image would go. And you can, again, change these up some. The, how long it takes for them to delay, how long they stay on the screen, all adjustable. 
Uh, the easiest way is to right click and just hit add. It's going to add it in there. And if we want to click it once, it gives you the option to edit the text or dur duration, which we'll get into that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. And you have voice. This is your voice recorder. This is going to allow you to start recording your voice as a narrator on the video um, as a little bit of a uh, sound um, that you can, once you start recording, you can voice over, narrate your video, stop the recording, and it'll be on here. Uh, you can select options such as, well, one, the volume, uh, which device you're going to use, uh, what format you want it to be recording in, and a couple other ones such as mute player, delay recording, and time limited. So that's a voice. Your disc menus, this is going to be something that allows you to set it up basically when you pop it in. Uh, if you're going to record this to a DVD, uh, you're going to be able to set the menu so that you can have chapters you can just have it stay at this and be able to play um, some of them you actually only start with three of them uh, travel under sea and wedding the other ones are available you just got to download them so just simply by clicking double clicking on them ask if you want to download it kind of large files but a lot of detail in them so that's why they're so large um, and usually there's some motion i believe in the background of them too uh, let's see if we can pull up the travel. Usually you can drag and drop or you can just right click and hit apply. And you kind of see what it does there. So that's uh, that's pretty much your main object um, that you can go into. Otherwise you can get into the production of it, which we haven't done anything yet. So let's go ahead and get back to... Uh, what we have here. Once you collect, click on one of the videos, you'll notice that it gives you some options to trim the video, adjust the speed, the color, the audio, and stabilization. You notice on the trim, if I were to trim down this video, grab that, uh, that first bar. Oh, it's not so important. That's just a current play. And I can grab it down here. Make it a lot smarter. I'm sorry, shorter hit OK and shrunk that down and I thought oh I didn't want to shrink that down that much I didn't want to lose that now I gotta reload it now go back to your trim it's still there you can just simply adjust it that much more if you need to or uh, make you know if that's you just want that short piece bring in another one and then trim that one down to what you were looking for so you got some really quick uh, ability to trim edit uh, the video from that point. Let me see if I missed anything. Uh, you can adjust the, uh, the volume from here and that uh, It's the next scene so you would uh, go to the next scene uh, Kind of like the next chapter kind of scene Okay, you got speed you can adjust the speed here uh, this you can either you drag the bar Actually, that's the rewind one it's a playback speed. I can change that again. This one brings down the bar. Once you to click that triple dots, you can bring it down to 0.1, which you might notice issue. So it's probably not best to go uh, so slow. Um, but you can double, triple, quadruple, and so forth up to 12 times the uh, actual speed. It'll get jumpy until you produce the video. Once the video is produced, it'll go much smoother. Uh, the audio can be stretched or it can be muted. And just to give you an example, I don't have the greatest speed of computer, so uh, if I want to see, I compiled it fine. But uh, I go much faster. Actually, that still worked too. I'm going to go ahead and mute the noise. And you can see it, it actually is working pretty well off my processor. I think I went to 12 once in it. Yeah, you kind of get. It's probably the fact of it just jumping so many uh, frames. I went ahead and canceled that though, but uh, getting into the color. You got uh, brightness, temperature, contrast, saturation, gamma, and hue. You simply adjust any of these if you're going for that, you know, temperature look. Uh, maybe your whole video you want it to be seem a little warmer. So you bring temperature up, it brings the warmer colors. Um, 
and everything per each video you can go with an auto color correction which it kind of picks it out for you or you can just do the reset all or apply to all occurrences uh, we're going to go into audio the audio has an amplifier and gain the volume noise removal you have to uh unless you know exactly what you're doing here you might have to play around with it if you have a noise that you're wanting to uh, uh, try to remove as a equalizer so you can get uh, increased bass which is the lowest one or drop out some bass or some low beaded noise or anything you can drop that out or if you want to raise or lower the high pitch noises sometimes you get a buzz somewhere uh, or a hum and you can actually find out what frequency the equalizer is and remove it uh, normalize I'm not exactly sure what's the normalize I played with it some but it didn't seem to make a difference when I was playing with it uh, the compressor threshold ratio RMS and post amplifier and then you got pitch shift which is the rate of the pitch uh, we also have stabilization what the stabilization is going to allow you to do is if you have a shaky hand or you're holding the camera and you're running you're walking you're just shaking a little bit you can increase or lower um, now you notice when it's at its lowest setting I get the largest screen size from the very top of the trees all the way to this corner of this hat and down this corner of the grass when I turn the it lower I'm sorry higher it in, gets deeper inside the image so that while it's playing you'll see less shaking less movement uh, you can also lock the frame which enables it to lock the frame borders and adjust the transformed frames so something to play with let's see here we also have you can just double click and you'll get into I think it was the uh, when double clicking it gets me into it looks like the speed option so let's see what else we got here so here's our video so far we can add in the transitions let's go ahead and just grab some uh, transitions throw them in there that way when we play the transition transitions over like that now that transition is editable so uh, I did just double click on it but once you have it highlighted transition here transition duration is up to two minutes right now and it shows it where is it's uh, how long the transition lasts right here so we can uh, adjust how long the transition is uh, we can increase it as you can see here some transitions allow um, you to give give you more options um, there's also the web effects this one so if we can do a we added the snow now it added the snow into the line for video effects this is a line for the main video feed video effects this is a video overlays that's a video for text and we got video for audio mix and voice recording so if we wanted to do the narr narration narration uh, okay so the snow if you click it once you got the duration you can mess with how long and you can edit the effects and the edit of the effects it gives you quite a few more options gives you the size uh, of the snowflakes really small to really big how many very few to quite a few the direction it blows in to left to the right uh, deviation of that uh, speed either very slow very fast what even color if you don't even want white snow you know black snow um, and then the alpha is the transparency to it uh, 
and then if you want snow drift that's just another option for there so quite a few options just for that one effect all these effects offer quite a few different options um, I know there's something I was wanting to get into when you right click on these you might see more options such as the uh, multi trim ability um, There was an ability that I wanted to show that I thought was just an awesome ability as far as your videos go. And now I'm trying to remember where I remember seeing it. Into the properties now. It's not there. Okay, looking at this, uh, one thing I really like about this is the ability to add this to the video overlay. You can right click on it. Or just simply drag it to this bottom frame what this allows us to do is if I put this right here you'll notice how it's over top of, of the frame right now um, I can click this and edit overlay and this allows me to reposition the overlay uh, I can resize the overlay uh, I can even flip the overlay in any direction uh, I'm looking to. Here is what I was looking for was uh, one of them was the transparency of the overlay and chroma key this for instance I click on that color Oops. Well, it's not exactly what I was looking for. Okay, uh, now that I got it played in a uh, certain position, uh, what I did is, at this point I can select a color on here and it's going to green screen that color. However, I'm going to click on this so it pulls up my colors. Try to hit that blue. And now what it is, is that first color I selected is now like a green screen. All right. So what I did is I cleared out some of it so that I could uh, start these effects back over. Um, I was looking for the, uh, the green screen effect, which I showed you. If you have a nice solid background color, you can green effect that out, green screen it out. Um, there is a bunch... <laughs> going on in this program that going over it all is, is is very difficult so I'm trying to go over as much as I can um, something else this software offers is the ability to produce it in a file onto a disk create it for multimedia devices or just share it on the web uh, so you again are going to have so many options I can't go into all of them but um, you basically your AVI DVD, MP4s, GIF images, uh, MKV, Windows Media Player, uh, all these different profiles. You get into advanced settings. You can simplify it up so it does it for you. Uh, it tells you how much of your hard drive you use, how much you is free, and how much you need is so small it actually can't even tell it's there. Uh, and you name your file here. You put where, have it where you want to put the file. Uh, again, option to be able to control some volume and what you want it to do when it's done. You have that create and it's going to go through with that. Actually, we can go ahead and just hit create and let it uh, start to process. Um, the, it seems to process very quickly as uh, it's compiling this video. All these different images. Um, doesn't take very long. It even shows you the progression over here along with the remaining time. Uh, it's fairly accurate. Uh, it just depends on the video itself. So. Uh, I hope you guys like this review of this software. I hope it was helpful. Uh, I know I'm, I'm sure I left some stuff out, but as I'm about 20 minutes long, it's, uh, it's quite a bit to go over. So uh, do feel free to comment, leave your suggestions on what you found helpful about this video editor, and uh, ask any questions you like. Uh, I'll do my best to answer them. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. More stuff to come. Um, and don't forget to like. Thanks, guys.